Each season brings new challenges and new opportunities. The Virginia men's lacrosse team has been looking forward to the 2016 campaign for months. After a year riddled with injuries in 2015, the return of captains Tanner Scales and James Pinnell provide a spark to preparations for the upcoming season. As the five-year anniversary approaches of the program's last NCAA title in 2011, the Cavaliers look to continue the program's tradition of excellence, starting this weekend with a home matchup against the Loyola Greyhounds. I think we're all excited to get started because for me, this, this has always been the best time of the year. This is the time of year for competitive athletes and coaches when the optimism is in the air and the anticipation of competition and getting ready to get started and generally the excitement of getting started kind of carries the day. I'm extremely excited to be back. Everyone comes back with a real focus on what we're trying to do here and it's been really good. The energy's been high and I think everyone's just ready for the first game to start on Saturday. I mean it's exciting you know when you come back uh, for the fall semester I think everyone kind of has that first game in mind and try not to look too far ahead. I think it's always in the back of people's heads that we have Loyola in early February. For it to finally be here I think we're always shocked at how quick it comes but I think we're just really excited and ready to hit the ground running. The goals for our program haven't changed a great deal over all my years here. We Almost always start out in September thinking that we have a chance to be playing on the last day of the season, on the final weekend. And you know, we were a very young defensive team a year ago. We sort of brought everybody back that started last year, but adding Tanner scales back into the lineup onto the practice field in particular through the fall, you could almost feel that the first day. Just a sense of confidence kind of lifted the entire group. So I see some of the younger guys that were kind of forced into action last year already playing at a little different level. And, and I think knowing that there's a guy like Tanner behind you, I think really helps your confidence and being able to make plays. And James Pinnell wasn't with us at full speed all through the fall, but he was able to be around the field and all. And I think in, in both cases, certainly, Good players, leaders in the program, charismatic guys that have an impact on their teammates. I think it's great having Tanner back. He's definitely a role model on the defense and he's a presence on the field for sure. And having Pinnell back at attack allows me to switch back to the midfield which I think will help get our team flowing together. We definitely got a lot of work to do, but I think two of the younger guys getting thrown in the fire last year, that's hopefully, hopefully gonna benefit us this year. And so far, we're gelling really well and playing really well as a unit. Where we probably felt our graduation the most dramatically was in the midfield. And in the recruiting, it happened to be probably where we had the most depth added to the team. Ryan Conrad, probably the most obvious example, but Ryan Lamb and Matt Jama and some guys like that, I think people are gonna to get to know them early in the year. We also have some young guys, I think a Corey Harris and Jake Dean that have been poised on the edge of being ready to play. And, and this is gonna be their opportunity to step up and and we're quite confident that they're going to be able to make some plays too. So clearly we're going to have to establish ourselves in the midfield first and foremost. But a midfield that starts with Greg Kohlholland and Zed Williams and A.J. Fish and Ryan Conrad and some guys like that, you know, we feel like we start off in a pretty good place. It's going to, it's going to be a strength overall, but we certainly have to develop some experience there. I mean, I'm certainly thrilled to be playing again. I <laughs> think we're all kind of chomping at the bit here to get going. I'm hoping we just Keep the energy levels high no matter what happens throughout the season, whether it's ups and downs, they're all ups hopefully. But we have to take it one day at a time and keep progressing. When we come back in the fall, it feels like this day will never be here and then, you know, it's here so fast. And uh, I think really just trying to cherish each day and enjoy each moment that we all have together out on the field is really what we're looking to do and we're just excited to get going.